Thanks for tuning in. This is Optibotomist coming with another video review. And today, continuing on with our Hobbit reviews, today we'll be taking a look at the first of our kind of larger two packs, that being of Fimble the Hunter and the Warg. Now, the Warg is something that we saw uh, in the original Lord of the Rings trilogy. Sauron sent out the Warg Riders to uh, intercept Aragorn and the, the Rohirrim as they made their way to Helm's Deep, trying to eliminate them and things like that. So it's really kind of cool to get a figure like this. It's really wicked cool and very ugly looking. I love it. And then Fimble is just a really ugly orc. I mean very disgusting now this two pack like i said in a lot of my other videos i mentioned how uh, they're they're individually available as well this i don't think it is i think you can only get this in a two pack but as you can see you still have the nice packaging on here flip around here on the back and you got an image of the characters in terms of their toy form as well as the read up here on the hobbit and a little read up here on Fimble himself now one thing that's kind of interesting is uh, due to the articulation I, I don't think you can actually ride him or have Fimble ride the warg so uh, I, I don't I don't think that that's going to be possible to do I think that's just going to be a standalone kind of wolf sort of thing so we'll see but there you have the packaging so let's get him open and see how cool he actually is Alright guys, so here we have Fimble and the Warg open up and out of its packaging, and as you can see, with a little bit of finagling, you can actually get Fimble to actually ride his Warg, which is really very cool. Now, it's barely just on there. I mean, you, he's not connected on there, but one thing that is really very cool is that the, the actual clothes that he wears is a much softer rubber than what we've gotten previously with all the other figures. Uh, I mean, this is, I mean, his cape is, uh, well, it, it detached a little bit that you can see that it actually has a little peg in there and uh, just slam it in there. But there's that which is very soft and then his skirt area is a very soft rubber kind of plastic. I wish that they used this on all the other figures. That would solve so many of the other problems that there were i mean that's absolutely fantastic i mean everything else was a very hard very rigid kind of plastic that really kind of limited you actually getting up here and utilizing any of his joints now as you can see the way that well let me zoom in one thing that you're going to notice is that the way his leg is designed where his knee is right here it's actually designed where that is how the leg is supposed to be positioned you can see it up here the leg is supposed to be able to swivel out this way a lot of times these figures are designed where the the joint is supposed to be forward and back like so but when you do it you can see that there's a big difference here in his knee so it's actually supposed to be out like this uh, probably designed to give him more of a, a rider ability here uh, you can take this and I mean you can rotate him around and you can well that looks really weird but you can get him to sit on there now because of the softer plastic that's one thing I was concerned about actually not being able to get him to fully sit on on the warg uh, but because of the way that it is you can actually get it on there it's it's not easy to do to be totally honest and I'm gonna take this off because it's kind of a pain in the butt right now so I'm just gonna take that off but you can see that by the uh, the possibility in his legs you can get it to kind of wrap around there where he's gonna be able to sort of sit on there now you can take this and if you flop it up there it sits a little bit better I don't know it, it's it's possible to do but it's kind of a pain in the butt but at least it's possible to do that's like I said one of my biggest nitpicks that uh, I was having with a lot of these figures that it wouldn't be a possibility with a lot of things such as that because of how hard that plastic is but this is absolutely fantastic I'm so thrilled to see that they actually did that and by doing it you can actually really manipulate the legs and get him to really kind of stand any way you want to uh, here's his accessory he does come with a couple of them and I'll show those off but for his articulation his head is on the ball joint um, you, you do see where his the sculpt kind of has them slouching over a little bit more which is perfectly fine because you got this giant cape sort of thing the arms are on the pin and sockets and they rotate all the way around elbows the same wrists also rotate he rotates here at the waist uh, like I said he's got the pin and sockets at the hips the knees are pin and socket as well so fairly decent amount of articulation on here and you like I said you can actually get him posed now uh, he does come with a couple accessories. Um, I, I guess you could kind of count this as an accessory. It's this little thing, and like I said, you can peg that in there. It's 
kind of hard to actually do, believe it or not. Push that in there nicely. And now he's got uh, some kind of a, I don't know, robe looking thing, which is really neat. And zooming in, you can see, again, he is just an ugly looking monster. I mean, he's an orc. He's ugly. He's got this, uh, like I said, kind of cape thing here. Very dirty looking body. I mean, this is just an absolutely beautifully painted and sculpted figure. I mean, I'm very impressed, especially with this guy. He's definitely coming across as an orc and very ugly and nasty. Uh, for his accessories, he does come with this kind of mace sort of thing with these spikes on here. Again, very nice detail on here. Nothing too spectacular. He's got a little spear doodad. You got a, like, kind of like a serrated edge right down here. You got the poking edge right there. And then what looks like uh, just a, a dagger of sorts, uh, I guess. But the biggest accessory he comes with is his warg. Now, one thing that I, I'm kind of disappointed, they package him like this. And, you, you know, I mean, he looks good like so. But when you flip him around on the other side, you can actually see that he's got all these gashes and stuff on here. Which is really very cool. I mean, he's got some on his knees as well. Uh, he's got some here on his back. You really couldn't make any of that out because he was packaged this way. They, they really should have packaged him that way to really kind of highlight some of those extra bits. Now, this is an absolutely gorgeous looking figure as well. Uh, wonderful sculpt on here. Wonderful paint job. Uh, the, the articulation on here is a little bit... I'm going I'm to call it janky. Uh, we're going to go back to that word. Um, his hips up here, they just go forward and back. But the way that his his legs are, you have to, it's like you bend them that way and then you bend them that way. And then they're really close in together. I, I really wish there was a way that these could actually spread just to give them a little bit more. Now, you can go like this, but then, like I said, you're, you're janky-fying them. And, and it's really kind of weird, and I, I don't particularly like it. And, and the same thing with the uh, the front legs. They move forward and back, and they bend. Well, this one doesn't bend there we go that one's that one's really stiff uh but again they're they're really in close and i i don't particularly like that and actually when you when you see where the joints are supposed to be it's it's almost like i mean these things look like they walk all like bow-legged and stuff and i i don't know it's the the way that the the articulation is on here doesn't work as well i don't think uh they do have a, it's the pin and socket here at like the the knee joint and then at the ankle joint it's the same pin and socket joint the the tail here is actually on a pin and socket joint so you can move that around this rotates it's a little bit of a ball joint right up here at the the waist area the neck moves forward it moves back and then it's on another joint here at the uh, actual head itself which really cool and then you can see that the mouth is actually articulated you get a wide open mouth with it but i mean it's 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 just i don't know the way that his legs are i mean you can see that they're just kind of goofy <laughs> i don't know it's like dang now I, I guess that kind of could make sense i mean these things are probably supposed to be ugly looking and not too terribly uh graceful in, in their walking around and, and they're definitely going to be beat up but I mean you just look at the poor thing's feet and it looks strange it, it just doesn't work all that well for me I don't think I, I love the way it looks it's an absolute gorgeous looking sculpt on on both of these but the thimble character is a much more nicely represented toy the character of the the warg just it, it comes across that like this particular one is just <laughs> or this particular representation, it, it, it's like this guy has gotten beat up, and you can see it. I mean, you got some blood gashes here, here, like I was showing earlier. So maybe he's supposed to be jankified and look like he's hobbling and all beat up or something. I, I honestly, honestly, I, I don't know, but uh, I, I mean, I like it. It's very cool looking. I just think the execution in terms of the, uh, the, the joints could have been a little bit better because that's... For me, a, a little bit lacking and, and not as impressive as it really could have been. But that's, you know, I mean, it's just my opinion. Individual people's opinions may vary, but I do really dig this set. And if you are collecting these three three quarter inch figures, this is definitely a set that you would want to pick up. The only real downside, like I said, is that some of the decisions in the, the engineering of the legs for the guy. But beyond that, 
I, I'm really very impressed with the overall look of this, and I was very impressed initially in how it looked, but then I, as I started opening some of the figures, I was like, oh, I, I don't know how that's going to actually turn out, because like I said, the hard plastic on all the previous figures would have made this an impossible figure to actually have him ride on the actual warg, so, but I dig it, uh, I mean, I, I think it looks cool. And I'm pretty happy that I picked it up, to be totally honest with you. Um, but that's about it. So thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Optibonimus. Keep in touch with me. Find out recent purchases as well as upcoming videos and all that stuff at Facebook.com slash TeamBotimus and Twitter.com slash Optibonimus. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.